Hey, what's up everyone? It's your cousin Ryan, and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the 4K release of Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Just got this in the mail a few days ago, and I've had some time to peruse the extras and things, and uh, I will preface this with saying this isn't going to be an in-depth review or anything. These are just my thoughts in particular uh, regarding this. Um, I don't even have a 4K player, so I can't speak to the quality of the 4K transfer or anything like that. But what I will talk about a little bit is the extras and things on here that I enjoyed. Um, you can just see the case here. There's the front with the Ghostbusters 1 uh, style logo holding up the 1 and 2 for the two movies. Then on the back, there's the cast photo of the four guys. And then one mistake I made, and this is just, you might not even care, but the back underneath the wrapping had like the list of all the features and things. And I just kind of crumpled that up with the wrapper and then realized it's not on there. This might not even matter to you. I enjoy having these things, so I've tried to flatten it out as best I could and keep it inside here. Um, the case itself, you know, it's the steel book. I hate these things when they stack the discs on. They're always so hard to pry off of there, and it feels like you're really bending the crap out of the discs to get them off. But anyway, there's the 4K release or 4K disc for Ghostbusters One. You can see the 4K disc for Ghostbusters Two over on this side here. And then on this side, you've got the disc, the Blu-ray disc for Ghostbusters 1, and then Ghostbusters 2, and then all the extras are on this disc here. Now, as far as I can tell, everything that's ever been an extra on any of the DVD, Blu-ray, whatever releases are all included in this set. They haven't left anything off, but they have added some things, which I was really, really excited about. Um, I'm a huge fan of the second movie. That's just, that, it's my favorite one. Un, unashamed to admit that. There's a lot of behind the scenes footage from Ghostbusters 2 that I've never seen before and just loved it. Love seeing it. I mean, it, it it's just, it's cool. I love this kind of stuff. Um, Ghostbusters 1 has some extra deleted scenes on here that we haven't seen before. Uh, there is the fort scene with the seductive ghost and Ray, which that scene itself has got a lot of hype over the years. Um, and I think it got a lot of hype for just being this infamous scene that was out there that we'd never seen. Um, it was good. It was funny. Definitely check it out if you buy this set. And then there was this quick little scene of the Ecto-1 rejecting a parking ticket, which I thought was pretty humorous. Um, and then there's, there's some other deleted scenes from, you know, uh, the previous discs and things as well. Um, the Ghostbusters 2 disc has director commentary on it now with Ivan Reitman and Dan Aykroyd. And oh, I forget the guy's name. He's a producer or something. Um, he felt a little bit unnecessary. It would have been just fine with Aykroyd and Reitman. The third guy felt like the third wheel. He chimed in a few times with stuff that just felt unnecessary. And Ivan Reitman is hilarious. He describes so many things, so many scenes as being delicious, which I thought was pretty humorous. Um... One thing I wished we would have got that we didn't get was the deleted scene from Ghostbusters 2 with Eugene Levy after the Ghostbusters get released from the mental institution. I was really, really hoping to see that, but we didn't get that. Maybe on the 35th anniversary of the Ghostbusters 2 release, we'll get some of that stuff. I don't know. Um, also included was the full episode of Oprah Winfrey when the cast w uh, from Ghostbusters 2 was on there just before Ghostbusters 2 was released in the theaters. And it was fun. I remember watching that as a kid, coming home from school and watching it with my mom. She was a big Oprah fan. That was a lot of fun to see again. One thing I'm a little bit... I have this very, very vivid memory of an interview with Bill Murray. And I could have swore it was from Oprah, but it wasn't. But he gave an extra little explanation for the scene where he's at the museum and the security guard asks him, you know, oh, it's one of my two favorite shows. And Bill Murray said, or Venkman says, what's your other one? And he says, Bassmasters. And then Venkman gets a little bit, you know, off put and walks away. I could have swore Bill Murray described that scene a little bit more and in, in that either Bassmasters had pushed out world of the psychic or jack hardemeyer who is kind of like the walter peck of ghostbusters 2 had something to do with bass masters i thought that was on the oprah show it wasn't so i have no idea where that interview was where i came up with that if i dreamed it up if it's real if it's not do you guys know do you have any recollection of that scene or that interview i mean um 
anyway, those I think are my most personally important thoughts on the 4K release for Ghostbusters. Uh, it was $65-ish on Amazon when I got it, and I pre-ordered it like a month ago. Um, again, can't speak to the 4K quality, but I feel confident in saying that if you're just a fan of the movies and don't care about all the extras, then you can probably save the cash. Um, but if you're really, really into extras and just can't get enough of the behind the scenes, then I think this is a must. And I'm happy I've got it, for sure. So, anyway, those are my thoughts on the Ghostbusters 4K release. Um, hope you guys are having a good Friday. And if you have time, let me know in the comments what you think. If you've got this, if you have any other questions, maybe I can answer them for you. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day.